here in beautiful Singapore enjoying this wonderful view. I'm actually going on a, a cruise for a few days to enjoy myself, to relax and to, to think and reflect. It's just been an incredible year of speaking to hundreds of thousands of young people. And one thing that I want to address in this video is how to find balance in life. Bangkok, Thailand, about to visit the Grand Palace, got off the boat, off a bus and now playing the tourist for a change. I want to talk about four pillars that I utilize in my life to keep balance. The first is work. Pirates of the Caribbean. Work is a good thing. Work allows us to be empowered, to provide for ourselves, to provide for those who are in need, to provide for our family and also to provide for the poor. Work should not isolate us, but work should draw us closer to God and draw us closer to the community and draw us closer to the poor. In fact, St. Paul in the scripture says, work so that you may eat. here in Saigon in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. The second thing I think is important is leisure. To be able to relax, to be able to switch off and take time off regularly. Let's hope I just don't get run over here. To be able to, to stop every now and then, for example, once a week, take a day off or half a day off. But this requires some planning. See, time off allows us to, to think, allows us to switch off, to get away from routine. I take time off regularly. Sometimes I can't take a day off every week, but sometimes I decide to take a couple of days, two, three days off for a retreat, for example, to get away, to stop to think, to be with myself, to face myself. I'm not a family man, I don't have a family, but if you do have a family, <laughs> make sure you're making time for your family because that's your primary vocation. You have to look after your family, make time to be with your family and with undivided attention. You need to plan to have some time of leisure and to have planned some time with your family and alone. You see, rest doesn't just happen. Plan ahead. If you need a holiday, plan six months ahead. Whatever it takes, take some time off. Take some time to relax and take some time to reflect. and we're now sailing the Vietnamese waters where it is extremely rough. Not many people are able to walk or, or run around here, but it's so exciting. I'm still heading to the gym right now. I wonder if I'll be able to carry the weights. You see, no matter how busy I am, no matter how tired I am, I make it a point to have some form of physical exercise every day. Whether it be to go to the gym or for a run or for a walk, anything, to even walking the dog just to make sure I can exert some of that physical strength. And also, then the second thing is diet. How important it is to watch what we eat. We cannot eat what we feel like eating all the time. I have a sweet tooth, so I have to be careful not to eat sugar. I make sure I have a high protein diet and I try and keep away from carbohydrates because I know that it makes me feel better and gives me more strength in the long run. We have a temple which is our body and we have a responsibility to look after it. 
that will help us find balance and be able to do a whole lot more with a whole lot more energy. So after three days at sea we finally arrived at Ha Long Bay in Vietnam. And this brings me to my fourth point which is prayer, fellowship with God. All of the other points shadow in comparison to the importance of this one. This is the fourth and most essential pillar, the pillar of prayer, of fellowship with God. You see, God is the source of everything. He is the strength. But the thing is, God goes with us wherever we are. We can pray, as St. Paul says, without ceasing that we can pray wherever we are, we can speak to God wherever we are. And one of the most amazing things is no matter what state we're in, in our relationship with God, whether we've sinned or we're pure, God still wants to fellowship with us. So make time every day, even as you're walking through the streets, at the gym or, or, or in church, to speak to God, to involve God in your life and to be aware of His presence. God is right here walking with me. God is everywhere. He loves you and He has called you to the fullness of life, which is impossible if you don't have a relationship and continuous fellowship with him. That's video.